Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Hand of Stone. Stone chronicles the story of real-life boxer Roberto Duran, and it's been fighting its way into theaters for two years now. Yes, this movie has been sitting in production hell since 2014, was supposed to get a 2000 theater release this weekend, instead got an 800 theater release. And unfortunately, once you see the movie, you can kind of tell why it had such a hard time making it into theaters, because it doesn't really feel like a good theatrical film. But starting with the positives, I think that Edgar Ramirez did a very good job. He, he portrayed Roberto Duran very well. It was believable. He, he brought a lot to the character. I also thought that Robert De Niro was okay. Not one of his best roles by any means, but he wasn't completely sleepwalking. I don't think his character actually was asked to do much heavy lifting in this movie, so he himself doesn't do much, but but at least he's not just like completely deadpan through the whole movie. We've seen Robert De Niro be pretty dead in films, and I think he was at least paying attention here. The film also highlighted a boxer that is legendary in the sport. I mean, you know, Roberto Duran is a, a big deal in the world of boxing, but a boxer that I don't think gets much shine today. He's not listed up there with the best of the best or listed in the greats. It's not a name that people just automatically know who you're talking about when you say it. So it was nice to see a new boxer highlighted, a new athlete given some shine. And in that sense, I learned a lot about Robert Duran in this film because I myself didn't know much about him um, and his actual personal life. So it was nice to, to get to know the boxer a little bit better. And I think they did do a very good job of just the basic groundwork of what you need to know. And even if you do know who he is, did you know all of this about Duran? Unfortunately, the positives kind of stop there. And as we begin the negatives, we're going to go ahead and go to one of our main performances. And that's Usher playing Sugar Ray Leonard. I don't think he was bad, but Usher didn't really bring anything to the role of Sugar Ray Leonard. And this is a boxer that we've all known and come to really enjoy over the years. And it just, it felt like a very stereotypical portrayal of Sugar Ray Leonard. It didn't feel like anything special. He didn't dig into the character at all. It was very surface level. And I don't necessarily totally blame Usher. It seems like he did a decent enough job getting Leonard's mannerisms down and the way he talked and the way he moved. But these all, again, felt like very generic ways of portraying Sugar Ray Leonard. We all know how he talks. We all could have been able to do the same impression of Leonard. And unfortunately, that's what Usher was doing, was an impression, rather than bringing him to life in this film. But jumping back over to the positives real quick, Ron E. Cathy did a very nice job as Don King. He wasn't given much screen time, but what he was given, he made the best of, and I thought he did a good job there. But this film, just, it felt like it should have been made for TV. It didn't feel like a theatrical movie. It didn't feel like a big event. It felt like just a standard biopic that they air on something like The Boxing Channel. And a big part of that is that it doesn't, it isn't shot very theatric, like the way it's shot is it's pretty straightforward, not much going on there. The boxing scenes also aren't shot all that well. When you look at movies like Creed and those boxing scenes, and then you see stuff like this, it's just very anticlimactic. They're, they're not given much and we're not excited, it never feels like we're watching the sport. It feels like a, a cut up montage of boxing pretty much because they don't they don't give it time to breathe and they don't have it build they don't really build the excitement through the matches like it's just another generic part of a very generic story and the movie just feels very paint by the numbers biopic sports movie 
So really, that's, that's kind of my review of Hands of Stone. I don't think it's a bad movie, but it just didn't feel like a theatrical release. It feels like it should have been released to television. It's nothing special. So I definitely give this a wait for rental um, or just wait for it to come on TV where I think it should have been released in the first place because it's not worth your theater price. If you're really a big Roberto Duran fan, please just don't pay anything more than matinee. Otherwise, like I said, wait for it to come out uh, for free on TV. So, that has been my review of Hands of Stone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below, and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Hands of Stone? Have you watched it already this weekend? If you have, what did you think? Let me know either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!